One of the lake's most unique characteristics is her depth, or lack thereof. Because the lake is shallow, sudden wind bursts and powerful storms easily stir sediment from the bottom of the lake. Aquatic plants help to buffer these effects as their roots anchor lake bottom sediments. However, the feeding habits of non-native carp have caused aquatic vegetation in the lake to die off, and their feeding on the lake's bottom contributes to the water's muddy appearance. Utah Lake's a shallow lake. Its maximum depth is about 15 feet when it's full, and the uh, surface area is about 95,000 acres. Well, w one bad thing about Utah Lake is the people's got it into their heads that this is a, a polluted lake. They figure because it's murky looking, it's pollution. It isn't. It's uh, wind that's causing all this mud. With the complaints about the dirtiness of the, of the water, or the dirty appearance of the water, that, you know, me and my staff, you know, we address that back as this is, this is really shallow. Um, we like to put it in perspective as you, know, you walk up on a mud puddle and you step in it and stomp in it, you know, when you did kid and did that, you, you made it muddy. And that, in essence, when the wind blows, is what it's is like a kid in a small puddle, and it's just uh, creating a turbulent atmosphere for it, and it's it just is bringing that that material up and making it float around, giving the dirty appearance. The biggest issue about them is they're probably much more fragile than deep lakes, and what I mean by that is as soon as a shallow lake gets out of balance, too many nutrients like phosphorus or nitrogen, or or too many fish like carp, what you run into is the possibility of losing oxygen really quickly. In a deep lake, you have a real dark, cold bottom of the lake in which there's lots of oxygen. In a shallow lake, you don't have that. The potential of Utah Lake is both extraordinary and precarious. Her fragile ecosystem hangs in the balance. Although Utah Lake can never be a deep lake, it can once again have clear water with a rich array of plants and a diverse aquatic community. She just needs our help.